Hi gang, Scott here. Welcome to InPost. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to talk about retouching and these uh, repeating patterns we can sometimes end up with uh, where you've done some work to remove some kind of distracting element. And sometimes that involves almost like rebuilding what would uh, be behind the object that you're getting rid of. You know, content aware fill on things help us out but sometimes we just end up with artifacts. And, and I had that here with, with this photo here. Uh, you know, overall, uh, the, the, the retouching came out really good, but can you see where the repeating pattern is? And yeah, right here in the center, where this, this beach is. I'd done some work in Photoshop, content-aware removal, and it, it, it worked okay, but it left me with this repeating pattern here. Uh, you know, I'm back in Lightroom now, but the reason I'm in Lightroom is because there is some things we can do here, and this is the technique that I use a lot to deal with repeating patterns, is our retouching tools, but with a lower opacity. And we just end up with kind of an interesting blend of, you know, a sample of some pixels from one place, semi-transparently added to another. And so let me just go through maybe a few sweeps here to give you an idea of what it looks like. So, you know, I've got these vertical lines going through here that I don't want to have. And to start with, maybe just getting getting a more like a diagonal line going through here. Let's see where it samples. Okay, not bad. It sampled here. I'd probably adjust that to maybe more like there. And if the healing doesn't look good, we can switch it to clone. I'm right clicking on the pen and switching it over to clone. All right, and I'm pressing the H key to hide those those pins. Now I can do a second one. I can do a third one. Just to start breaking up that repeated pattern. Now, of course, why this is working for this scene is because this beach sand, it can be soft. It can doesn't really have a, a fixed shape and a form. If you've got repeating patterns that, um, I don't know, it's like you know, brickwork or something like that, you're going to have to really just use clone, a very thin, thin feather, and line up seams of concrete or uh, you know any type of um, geometric repeating pattern. But with, um, with sand or with anything soft, like even if you would remove something in the sky where there was some you know, softer clouds, so this is one part of the technique running through here and kind of um, I'm looking especially the things that show up in this scene are the darker parts which leads me to a second item we can do. We can grab a brush, we can use a lighten, you know, some kind of dodge and let me uh, use a bit of a, a lower flow, a lower density. So this is a partial strength brush and we can sweep through and start to brighten up certain areas and we can do several different things actually let me do this I'll add kind of a big sweep through this area just so we can see the effect see what's going to happen so that's doing this little bit of brightening we can take texture down that's going to soften it we can take a clarity down that's going to soften it I probably need to bump up the exposure a little bit we can take the shadows down that did not work well there. Maybe the black point, let's see about that. Maybe raise that. So we're, we're, we're taking away, maybe shadows, I should have gone the other direction, Scott, not, not darn down. I'm so used to deepening shadows. We can bring that up there, and you start to get the idea, like the, those two pieces here, like just, just before the brush and after. The brush is actually having a really nice effect in combination with the spot removal. That's before those spot removal changes and after combining those two things together. Uh, but the key thing is they're partial strength. They're not full strength cloning. It's not full strength healing. It's not full strength brushing. So you're, you're just really almost smoothing and blending things out. After spending a few minutes to do these techniques, brush things around, got a couple of rough edges to clean up, but this is a lot better than the original beach. And especially when we look at it, as the photo as a whole, where it's this small area 
of what's otherwise, you know, um, there's a lot more to occupy the viewer's eye than that little patch of sand. But uh, but I wanted to share the technique. You know, that's 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 the deal with trying to get rid of some of these repeating patterns you may end up with after doing retouching. So take a look at your retouch tools at a lower strength. And you know, these tools are I used Lightroom here obviously available in Photoshop. You've got retouching tools in On One Photo Raw. You've got retouching tools in Luminar. Look at the strength of those. Dial that strength back when you're doing the retouching to help smooth out those uneven patterns. Hope you found the video useful. You got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.